I'm going to show the Michelle workshop viscometer. It's in the box here. It came in this box. There's a thermometer and there's a stem and a, and a thermometer well comes in from the bottom and goes up if you care to use it. The, the thermometer is reading 23 degrees centigrade. There's a steel ball in a cup and then there's three little tits that hold the ball away from the cup a certain distance, very small distance. I've got a stopwatch and I've got a 50-50 roughly mixture of 5W30 and Marvel Mystery Oil mixture and I've got the um, constant of the instrument which is 17.5 CGS absolute units and you um, let's see it says you I'll read it here. To determine the CGS viscosity, the observed time of fall of the ball in seconds is simply divided by the constant of the instrument. So that's all we need to do in the end. Uh, I'm going to start this stopwatch first, then I'm going to invert that, and I'll probably read out the time I'm actually inverting. And then I'll read out the time that it falls and we can subtract about five seconds, whatever I started at. I'm starting at 5. I'm going to stop at about 12 and a half. About 12 and a half minus 5 is 7 and a half seconds. So that should allow us to divide 7 and a half seconds by 17.5 to get the result. And here's the, here's the cup. I don't believe you can see the three little dots, but there's one at the 12 o'clock position right here. And then 120 degrees from there around the cup. And that's it. Oh, that little rim has to be full for it to work properly. And it was, I'm pretty sure, in this case. Okay, that does it.